nuclear, not only Turkey, but the, the whole world cannot reach decarbonization targets in the mid-century. And it's not only we are saying this, but also COP28 uh, in uh, last December in Dubai, uh, the, the major economies, uh, global uh, community announced that the, the world needs to triple its uh, installed capacity of nuclear by the year 2050. So we need to increase the nuclear power generation capacity. In Turkey, we started with Rosatom. We have a very uh, uh, good uh, cooperation in that front. Uh, and in many, uh, many aspects, like uh, uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Likachov mentioned about the, the social aspect of it and how we are touching the people's daily lives. This is a very important aspect. Uh, but at the same time, uh, for Turkey, we have a very, uh, ambitious target to reach 20 gigawatts of nuclear power generation capacity by the year 2050. So not only Akkuyu, which we are building four reactors uh, with Rosatom, but we need additional reactors in, uh, in Sinop, we have additional reactors in the Trace region, plus we need small modular reactors in our energy systems because it's, it's also a kind of new area, newly emerged area, but definitely to transformation of the industries towards cleaner source of uh, getting cleaner source of energy, I think SMRs has a huge potential in uh, another area that we would like to invest. And at least five gigawatts of SMRs will be in our Turkish energy mix next uh, two decades. Uh, but of course, there are some conventional type of energy uh, resources such as oil and gas. Also, we are investing. Uh, on the upstream side, we are increasing our interconnection capacities, gas and uh, oil and also electricity side. Uh, and quite recently, some new technologies like hydrogen, green hydrogen uh, mainly, CCUS, storage technologies, also uh, growing areas that we uh, are uh, following very closely and we are investing very closely.